did you know that Eclipse provides an excellent plugin which seamlessly integrates Maven and Eclipse together? With that, I Bhavita on behalf of Edureka welcome you all to yet another interesting session where we will be understanding how to create Maven project in Eclipse IDE. Without further ado, let's quickly look at the agenda for today where we will be starting up by understanding what exactly is Eclipse and Maven and then jump into the creation of Maven project in Eclipse. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in DevOps certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Now let's get started. Understanding what exactly Eclipse is, is important for us to create project in Eclipse. Now, Eclipse by definition might mean it is an environment to create different types of projects using different programming languages. Now by definition, Eclipse is an integrated development environment used in computer programming. It contains a base workspace and extensible plugin system for customizing the environment. Now why exactly do we need Eclipse for Maven? Well, you can actually run Maven goals from Eclipse and also you can view the output of Maven commands inside the Eclipse using its own console. You can also update dependencies with IDE and you can also launch Maven builds from within Eclipse. Along with this, there are many more advantages such as it automates the downloads and required dependency and source from remote Maven repositories. And also it resolves Maven dependency from the Eclipse workspace without even installing to local Maven repositories. That said, we'll quickly run through the definition of Maven and also look at the project creation. Basically, by now we should understand that Maven is a build automation tool. Primarily, it was built for Java. Although now, eventually, it was developed for different languages such as C Sharp, Ruby, amongst other languages. Now, having that understood, let's jump into our project creation. Now, to start off, we need to have Eclipse IDE installed in our systems. So make sure you have Eclipse IDE installed. Uh, and with that, we can start our project creation. So firstly, uh, when you install Eclipse IDE, it will obviously have an welcome page and this is how it will look. Now, once that is done, the next step is to create our Maven project. For that, we'll jump into file and new and here select on project. Now, make sure you don't select on Java project and select on the project. Now, once you click on the project, you will obviously see general, Gradle, Java and Maven. Here we got to create Maven project. So let's select Maven and in Maven, you're going to select Maven project. Once you do that, click on next and it'll take a couple of seconds to create the project. Let's give it some time. Now, once that is done, you will see this window again here. You got to create a simple project. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple project which will skip the archetype selection. So uh, make sure you do that and rest all will leave it as it is. And also let's not select that. Now let's click on next. Now here you got to give the group ID and artifact ID. Group ID, I'm going to say edureka underscore maven and artifact ID is going to be maven project underscore demo now this can be anything of your choice it is what i will be giving here now make sure to check out the version and packaging also the rest of course you don't have to change anything so what we're going to do is we're going to just say finish now once that is done you can see that your maven project is being created by our eclipse itself so let's open that now here, as you can see, our Maven project has been created and it has also created many packages here. Now here in this packages, we have Java package. We have resources, which basically contains all sorts of project uh, resources that we need in order to create a uh, Maven. And also along with that, you can see that there is a test resource that has been created for testing of our project. 
and also there is a source file along with that there is a pom xml file now this is what we're going to operate with so let's click on that now when you click on this you can see that the xml version is being created over here make sure to double click so you get it in the xml format itself so the next step we're going to operate with this now as you can see that there is model version there is group id there is artifact id version and these all were created by us in just a click now what we're going to do is we're going to add a class to this so how do we add class is a go to source main java and you can right click on this and if you go to new it says the option class over here i'm just going to say class and once this is there it's going to ask for the package name and it is going to ask for the name of the class so package name is going to be same as our group id so i'm going to say edureka underscore maven and let this be as demo class now i'm just going to hit on finish and as you can see here our class has been created our package is edureka maven and our class is demo class now we're going to start working inside this class now inside this class our next step is to create a method so for that let's go ahead and create a method i'm just going to say public and i'm just going to call it sample method and i'm going to return the same thing sample method now the next thing is to test this so what we're going to do is for that we're going to go to source test now here in new you got to select something called as j unit test case now we're going to run j unit test case for our project here so let me just click on that and here of course there's going to come name package name let's quickly go ahead and fill up all this here the package name again it's going to be edureka maven and the name here is going to be our method name and test so once that is done let's give finish and here it's going to ask if you want to add junit4 in your build path let's just say not now for now and give okay and as you can see our test case is being created here now as you can see here there are many errors now why do you think this error comes so basically this error comes because any kind of jars or uh, files is not being added to our build path now as we saw we didn't add any kind of files to our build path and hence these error comes now how we can rectify this error is that when we are creating project in uh, maven that is um, uh, we are creating our maven projects it will let us to add dependency like we saw in our theory version uh, maven can add dependency while you're creating a project in your eclipse so how this can be done is uh, we can go to our uh, class again here now how this can be done is let's go to our xml file here and here we can add a notation called as dependency here there is a suggestion that's given there and let's add that in here the dependency we can actually find these dependencies in internet as a repository so when you click on a maven j unit dependency you'll have a maven repository where you can take all these dependencies and add your so let's go ahead and do that now the first thing you got to do here is uh, look for maven j unit dependency now if you go to maven j unit dependency it will open a web page which has maven repository j unit repository which will redirect you into artifacts now here you have different versions of your dependencies the latest version will always be on the top now of course the release date is february so let's quickly go ahead and see what is a dependency so this is a short way of uh, taking our dependency what we can do is we can just copy this 
so i'm going to go ahead and copy the dependency and come back here and paste it over here now this is where our errors can be removed this is where our dependencies will be created in our maven so the trick here is to go ahead and save this so if we save it here now as you can see our errors have been gone now this is because if you notice maven dependencies have been downloaded by our eclipse that is only because we had a dependency code that is being called over here in our xml file now again let's go ahead and see what happens if we don't have this so i'm just going to remove this and again save now again our errors are back this is because our dependencies are gone now if i just now again you can see the errors are gone so this way our maven project the first project simple project creation in eclipse can be done now this brings us to the end of today's session i hope you understood how to create maven project in eclipse and it turns out it's very simple if you have any doubts regarding today's session put down in the comment section below and we will attend them until we meet again next time happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning